Well, that seems a little dim down there, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Alright, so now... This is going to be... Cart 3... Fixes and new new chemicals. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna revisit this chart again, um, and I have. Anyway, let's just do it individually. We have Na2O, okay. Um, it's showing up as 20%. So if I go to my notes here. should be this one, I guess. Um, and we're going to add actually nickel. Nickel should be in there because that's a catalyst for something. I don't know if I can do that. If I look at the map again, if we look at the map again and we see something I, I can't okay so nickel is right there on this far corner and it's got a medium median of almost 40 percent but curiosity is saying it's a little bit lower that's 30 percent Let's say there's 30% nickel. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that and I'll show you the other uh, let's see I have to go to the I added a resource which I, you might actually be able to see it here. I'm using res resource mod to config list chemistry resources. This is my mod. Um, <clears throat> I got the idea for trace chemicals since they're not quite as prevalent. Uh, so I'm going to load this up here. Uh, you can't see the whole thing because it's kind of stretched out, but those are the titles and whatever and everything. So, if I look up, I want to look up um, the color of nickel on the line here. So, if I go to my thing here, let's see, color. I suppose that's more of a silvery color too, isn't it? Silvery bluish color. So I go to my red green chart. I could use a darker with a little blue in there, 128. Click this. And so what we'll do is we'll go down here. And I will just 
grab my calcium. So it's a surface material, and we have to put Ni, O nickel, as a title, and then a description, I, I guess. This is the game's way of giving a title and so on and so forth, so what I'm wondering is, can I... And then also, let me, I'm going to save this. Um, I made a change to the sulfur mod. Um, which, in fact, I have to go back and change it. Well, I made the change to the sulfur mod to reflect how the game writes in the data. I just made that change. And I'm going to leave that mod separate. And then if I go to the chemistry, um, I have to go back and change everything. I'm updating his mod, is what I'm doing, I'm, so that it works. There's some things in here that need to be fixed. Uh, so m the input is not going to be Mars soil trace. It's just going to be Mars soil. I can keep all of that the same. All these numbers can stay the same until I deal with all the numbers all at once. Uh, figuring out how long it takes for a product to get used. Uh, this is actually pyrite. Now, I don't know. Pyrite's chemical formula is FES2. I don't believe we have a way to break down. That's iron and... Let me look this up here. exactly what that stands for. A ferric sulfide 2 or something? Iron sulfide. So that's a sulfur. It's got two units of sulfur and one unit of iron. So he does break down the pyrite to get the sulfur. Now let's let me go back and let's see how to get out of pyrite. Extracting sulfur from pyrite. Well, uh, oh, this guy did this on. Natural iron, pyrite with steam, hydrogen, and carbon have been studied in a tubular. Making elemental sulfur from pyrite. Obtaining sulfur is going to be different for most people in a survival situation. Most pyrite sulfur extraction. See, I always look up how to get this stuff. Steam hydrogen carbon is studied in a fixed bed tubular reactor, 900 degrees. The new process to the current level of solid reactors probably with steam in this process. This sulfur evolved as hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide, respectively, under the under uh, those conditions. Uh, okay, I could probably do it with that. The incorporation of hydrogen in the steam iron sulfide's reaction and allowing it to increase considerably the yield of hydrogen sulfide 60%, but only a small amount of metallic 
metallic iron could be produced. Why don't we just leave that number? Two pot distal, be aware that there's a real danger. H2 is highly toxic. Hydrogen sulfide. So if we go back, if we look at, we get 84% and 13%. Uh, what the fuck did I just read? Am I streaming this? Yeah. Evolved as hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide, were respectively. So hydrogen sulfide. So if I go to, uh, God. in here. So F E S two pyrite sulfur extraction at temps yields hydrogen sulfide. Dioxide, so SO2. I believe that's SO2. So we've got F E S two and some other stuff going on in there. Two H two S plus S O two. So I'm I'm seeing. Let's see. Uh, let's go to. Let's try. S 
plus this go to equals Well, damn. I just read this. So you use uh, steam. Steam has to be used. So that's like boiling water. you get 85% hydrogen sulfide so plus steam uh, we get H I don't even know if that's right And so this is like 85%, this is 14%, what's the sulfur? Hmm. Total sulfur. He's got a reaction for that, too. I'm just trying to figure out something on my own and then comparing it with his. Hydrogen sulfide of total sulfur. Well, let's see something else here. back up here what did I just oh I wrote hydrogen sulfide that's where the H2O comes in probably the steam the steam is it's H2O
then you have to break this down. Oh no, this comes out of the reaction, doesn't it? You get the FES. What is FES? That's just a compound. Iron 2 sulfide. So hydrogen sulf let's see. It's a very flammable, extremely hazardous gas. <laughs> so this particular reaction is not very healthy. How can you? I wonder how you could break that down. I wonder if that could be broken down. Well, it's produced by. So we could actually get hydrogen sulfide out of the... I bet we could get some of that out of those waste products too. Some amount of it. At high temperatures in the presence of catalysts, sulfur dioxide reacts with hydrogen sulfide to form elemental sulfur and water. This reaction is exploited in the Claas process. So let's look that up. So we actually have, what we have here is We have sulfur dioxide reacts with hydrogen here to produce water and sulfur. Okay, there's the reaction. 2H2S plus 3O2 yields 2 sulfur dioxide. Okay, so this is the complete reaction here. So if we add this down here to our illustrious information, so there's two parts to this. So there's one. So first we have to produce the SO2 and then the SO2 is re-added to the hydrogen sulfide to produce the sulfur in the water. So we have to get hydrogen sulfide 
first. Uh, that comes from the pyrite, so... So we've got the pyrite, and then we've got... Um, I think it's just, it's FE2S, but it's not listed in the game. This is H2O. So now if we go down here and grab... are in base uh, let's see I'm not I'm not I'm synthesizing aren't I so I've got to go to synth base and what we're gonna do is we're gonna synthesize Mind you, this is all in my mod here. All right, so we're gonna synthesize. What do we? What do we? What do we? We're synthesizing sulfur, and we're gonna do a multi-step process somehow to figure this out. So we've got pyrite plus the steam. Which is actually, I may have to write this down here. F E S2. Because this is actually yielding F E. S plus S or maybe it's just yielding FES in the first process maybe no it's not something's not right Let's go to, we have an input of pyrite, we know that much, and we're adding steam, which is water, um, see we've got Sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide's not is not listed in this. I'd have to add it. Because that's part of this formula. Sulfur dioxide is actually there, but they labeled it wrong, and it, there's some things wrong. Um, in fact, 
this is where it's going to get difficult. Wait, what is this? Why is split my par right down here? I must have added that in. That shouldn't even be there. I added that in when I was testing something. Something's not right. Shit. What I gotta do is get rid of this and don't save it because I don't know what the hell I was looking at. Fuck. I was looking at that synthesis. That's in mine. Alright, good. That shit's not in there. See, there's silicon oxide. And he's got two oxygen here. Okay, this is a mistake. It's supposed to be silicon dioxide. And I know this for a fact. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. And this synthesized TCOM base is actually going to get rid of the, synth the silicon oxide and replace it with, with this. I asked them to replace this months ago, and they never did it. Well, it's going to be done now. And this is silicon dioxide. And what I have to do is that part of it's fixed, but what i got to do is i got to go into the resource list which is in my mod and change silicon dioxide here SiO2 SiO2 so that's that's been changed there And that's part of the main list. So I got that fixed. Now, if I want to add hydrogen sulfide, how about if I do it using something off of iron oxide so if I take iron oxide and we're going to add I'm going to do this here hydrogen sulfide Red, green, blue, red. Maybe a little less red, I don't know. And this is going to be H2S. to the that's the config list if I go to the chemistry uh, I'm not going to sp split it I'm going to synthesize it now I think the synth one is already open 
So we're actually going to synthesize. So the output's going to be. Hydrogen sulfide. I'm going to move this shit over here. Now we're going to let's see, we're combining. Why does it say combine? Synthesize sulfur. You know, we should be splitting this. I think this should be a split. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. back to the split which is not listed here I like keep bullshit keep showing up all right so now oh look where I've got combined down here. synthesize water I'll have to do with that later this is going to be uh, split py I guess I show you what I'm doing over here doing this just for the remodifying this why am I doing this this is already in his I'm doing this on my own I guess it's my own version of the mod uh, all right so now lost it. No, this is it here. So if I go back to here. So now we've got we're producing two units of hydrogen sulfide, two units of oxygen, and that yields this, which then you've got then it takes four of these as an input again plus two sulfur dioxide to yield this so we've got an output and we've got an input that's an input too isn't it sulfur dioxide yielding hydrogen sulfide so what if, if I'm if I'm putting in four and I've got two coming out that means I'm putting in two I'd have to have two coming in that's hydrogen sulfide is still coming in two units of it as an input So if I change, if I make a copy of this, J 
change that to an input. And I'll change this to a two. Now I've got two sulfur dioxides, which is uh, that's going to be an input. I think there's four inputs on that. Wait a minute, that's... Sulfur dioxide? What the hell? Am I? I don't have sulfur dioxide. Shit. Is that what that was? I thought it was... What the hell was I reading? Oh yeah, that's sulfur dioxide. Alright, so let's go back here. That means I've got to add that, because I don't have that one either. So if I go to the resource list again, No, that's not what I want. Uh, hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen. I don't know what yellow is. I need to go look at that chart. Two fifty five, two fifty five and fifty. Sulfur dioxide. Oh, I gotta change something there too, don't I? Um, atmospheric. Actually, well. Actually, the hydrogen sulfide and the sulfur dioxide are from are coming from the pyrite, which is a surface material. Whether that stuff is located in the atmosphere or not, I don't know what what difference that would make. They're both gases. So what I'm going to do is change this to atmospheric anyway. Uh, I did something wrong, I think. Yeah. That's supposed to be surface. Alright, so now I've got sulfur dioxide in the mix. Now the game recognizes that. And that's going to be an input. Or 
or an output, I don't fucking know. Sulfur dioxide. Now if I go back to the equation, we got, we got, um, I still have six units of oxygen and two units of water. This is a two. I don't know if there's five inputs on that on that uh, big machine. I could hide the oxygen inside the well, I could hide the oxygen inside the water because it's steam. So I got six oxygen here. So that would be like six more units of water. Which makes sense because you're you're putting a lot of water in here for steam. That's like a total of eight units of water. Maybe even ten. Let's make it ten. And now we've got uh, two units of sulfur dioxide. Now the output's going to be FES, which is an iron oxide. And that, sh that should be there, because that's part of it. So I gotta go back to my resources again. Now I've gotta add iron oxide Wait a minute. Iron oxide is uh, iron. Whatever the hell FES is, iron. Iron. What the hell is it anyway? Iron sulfide. Iron sulfide is what it is. Sulfide is like a yellow color. Uh, sulfur dioxide. Iron is more brown. Two fifty, one fifty, and fifty. Sulfur, iron sulfide, 250, 150, and 50. Uh, iron sulfide. F 
FPS Iron sulfide surface FPS FPS Well, that's three compounds I had to add here just for this little one little project. And I wanted to get to my own stuff here. All right, so now we've got iron, iron sulfide, which I guess I'm assuming is one unit. Let's see, there's two sulfur dioxides. That's an input, and the output's going to be uh, plus S four. I got four units of water here. Uh, let's change this to water and. Change this to sulfur. So I got I got the hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide back into the input because there's two processes. So there's there's two sulfur dioxide. And I guess two hydrogen sulfide. No, wait. There's actually four hydrogen sulfide on the input, but there's but there's two here and no output is what I'm getting at. Sulfur dioxide is two. All right. Now the output is going to be six units of sulfur. I don't think I need this. This does not belong there. Uh oh, something fucked up. Okay, there we go. I got six units of sulfur, four units of water, and one FES, which is an output. That's iron sulfide. I got a unit of water coming out. Maybe we could change it to two. And six units of sulfur. That looks good, actually. That looks really good. So I had to add three of these compounds. And obviously we could split them later. Or actually not. How do we get... Where are we going to get the hydrogen sulfide and the sulfur dioxide to begin with? Uh, so it's produced two units of each are 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 produced through this to this initial process. So the only thing I can think of uh, how so how are we going to This is what's produced, actually, you know what? This hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide is what's produced, I think. I got, I got two produced out of here and two produced out of there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'll have to change this. That's one, two, three, four, five outputs, water and pyrite as an input. Now, if we look at our chart down there, uh, hydrogen sulfide H2S, I don't see that in there anywhere. Uh, 
sulfur dioxide. There was an S. That's silicon dioxide. There's a sulfur trioxide, SO3, here. Uh, and that's in the soil. So I wonder if we can collect this sulfur trioxide. Or what can we do with it? There's another way to get sulfur. Maybe that's that we could assume that that's where that's coming from some of that pyrite. Why don't we just make that assumption to make it easier for now? I wanted to add nickel. I'm looking at my chart here. Um, I don't believe that was added. So if you look at the chart, nickel comes out to about 35%. Um, so what I'm going to do is nickel is used and, and calcium well there's calcium oxide and that's part of the soil too so there's another component that we've got to put in here so I might as well do it uh, calcium oxide and I'll put that right after magnesium oxide I guess more like a white calcium would be more like a white color so uh, I get it the same as magnesium oxide which is where is my where is my aluminum is 130 130 150 what if I do 150s across the board That's a surface, calcium oxide, that's CaO. Alright, so we got calcium oxide in there. That's really going to be good. Then the other one is sodium, I don't know what this Na2O is. Na2O. Sodium oxide is what it's called. So we got to put that one in there too. Because that's going to be used for drilling processes. Sodium oxide and... Oh, uh, that's more like a yellowish color. So how about 240, 240, and 40? Hello? Hi. Oh, Jesus. Can you wait a goddamn minute? Why the hell can't you call me first? Hi. Yeah, well, hold your horses. I'm, like, right in the middle of something here. Hi. Sodium oxide is Na... Na2... Oh... I got company. NA2O, NA2O, surface sodium oxide. Alright, so let me just save that and I gotta exit out of this and stop the stream here.